and starting up our next Knott's Scary Farm haunt video. I'm gonna head inside the Emporium where they have added a lot of Halloween stuff and are uh, getting ready to go for the season. And at the front of the park, we finally have, I'm surprised this was not a couple days ago, but we've got the big old sign with all the dates coming up to Scary Farm. Super exciting to know that those dates are so close. This time next week, we'll be on uh, Halloween Horror Nights Eve, and then two weeks from now, we'll be here. Okay, inside, we've got our first skeleton added for Ghost Town. So there should be a few more joining soon here, and uh, there's a bunch more coming up, so let's go take a look around. And guessing anybody watching this video, is excited about this. We've got the fog machines making their way out. So uh, that's the first one that we've seen out in play here. But uh, as much as I love this alley for Christmas and just in general all year round, there is nothing better than when it's all filled with fog. And uh, that's about the end. The work they've done in the last year to kind of combo the scary farm, spooky farm, you know, transition to day to night has been really great, I think. I mean, it works well, it's not too intimidating for the little ones. It's not off-putting, it's not bloody corpses, things like that. And it works obviously with kind of just the natural backdrop of the ghost town to have these skeletons. But just the entire park, I thought it's so really smart. I never really thought about it until they really implemented this year of making things spooky uh, and then where you add just the proper amount of lighting effects and fog and music and obviously scare actors and you just get an entirely different vibe than the daytime production the way they transition from a daytime event to a nighttime event is really smart and uh, just impressive in general I know maybe a lot of people saw that coming but uh, I didn't really think much about using things that are so multi-purpose and then last year seeing how it actually played in the daytime versus the nighttime at the events and how the kids reacted uh, versus the adults at night to everything it just it felt like it really worked well super unique so. all right so this is new and different and big thanks to friend adam walsh on uh he hit us up earlier in the day to let us know about this and then after sending us some pictures, we went ahead and tweeted it so we could retweet him, but this was kind of a deciding factor in coming out today and checking this out. So, first thought when I got the pictures earlier today was like, where are the gargoyles? Because the gargoyles at this fountain is one of my favorite things. The lighting effects with the gargoyles is one of my favorite things. But, I gotta admit this looks really cool. And if I didn't know about the gargoyles, I wouldn't care and I just think this is amazing so uh, definitely a much more impressive display than gargoyles no doubt but I hope those gargoyles turn up somewhere because they're fantastic and I'm guessing they will because I don't think Notch would throw those away show up somewhere if not this year another year 
They seem really good about reusing items and getting maximum out of stuff. So uh, this looks great. I mean, it's really cool. I'm sure the kids will love it. It'll be a great photo op throughout the day and I'm guessing the night with the lighting effects. It does, uh, it is reminiscent of Disneyland with the giant Mickey Jack Lantern that has a huge line um, all day, all night. And not that it has the same iconic character as Mickey Mouse, obviously, but I would guess if they have their uh, photo people out and just in general, I bet there'll be a lot of families taking photos here throughout Spooky Farm. And I'm uh, guessing there'll be quite a few at night as well. So very cool addition. Well, this is interesting. This is in the spot where usually there's the, you know, the Dia de los Muertos statues begin. And we kind of figured those statues would be out and maybe they will be, or maybe they'll be on the stage with a new dance party and stuff. But uh, it's a new piece. I don't know if it's meant to go with anything Scary Farm, Spooky Farm, or if it's just here as a set piece in general. But uh, we'll see, I tend to think Something spooky will go along with it eventually here, but none of the other uh, statues or pieces that usually are in this area. All right, and we are in here in the hollow, but uh, obviously a lot of characters removed here from what's it been called now, the Beagle Bonanza, whatever they have changed it over for a peanut celebration. It's a fun overlay that just stuck here and added a lot more characters, but uh, you can see everything's been removed in terms of that, and I'm guessing that's to get the Halloween version set up for daytime guests. So, not too much to see here yet, but interesting. Kind of wondered if that was gonna happen. I guess that's definitely happen. Okay, and I think we're gonna wrap up here with just one more of the skeletons. So quite a bit to see this time. You definitely all coming together. Not sure, I know we've been doing these pretty frequently lately, these updates. Not sure when we'll get back out, hopefully in the next couple of days. But uh, Disneyland Halloween starts tomorrow and uh, we'll definitely be at that, so we will see. All right, wrapping up here at Knott's for this Scary Farm Spooky Farm video. Till next time, same line somewhere.